I wanted to come to you and really quickly and make this video as I had promised I would when I first got my extensions which is to teach you guys how to take care of your natural hair underneath extensions or sewn, a sewn in weave and so I wanted to make sure I got that for you as you know just because your hair is in a protective style it doesn't mean completely ignore your hair until you're ready to take it out like you have to throughout the duration of the protective style you want to be caring for your hair okay so um, and ex wearing extensions is no exception. You might have to be more diligent than you would with just regular braids or twists or something like that. So just make sure you're taking care of your hair and I hope I can help you um, with some insight on, on how to do just that, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for me, I feel like the realest thing I can tell you guys is that the most important thing in caring for your natural hair as um, an extension or weave wear is applicator bottles you need applicator bottles in order to get to your natural hair it only makes sense so um, invest in some of these so obviously our first step in caring for our hair period is starting on wash day and so for me wash day consists of an oil treatment washing and deep conditioning and then leave-in conditioner and styling okay so for me it starts with the applicator bottle and this is my oil mix of avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oil, and grapeseed oil, and almond oil. Okay, so whatever essential oils that you like, you can make your own mix. This is just mine in my applicator bottle, and I literally gather all my hair, separate out each track, and get down into the tracks and get this oil on my scalp and seeping into my natural hair, the braids underneath. Okay, so, so essential applicator bottle in order to get down to business okay so I'll sit under a shower cap and I'll put like a scully or a beanie on to create that kind of uh, sauna effect and let it really absorb so I let that absorb into my hair as my pre poo and hot oil treatment and let the body heat warm up the oil that's that then I proceed to wash my hair and also wash out the oil and sorry it's empty today that's just because i love this stuff so much that i'm down to the sample size bottle from the big bottle these products by shea moisture the big bottles are ten dollars and i'm down to the sample bottle thankfully my sister had got me this but i'm all out of it now too but it's my favorite 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 moisturizing shampoo it's by shea moisture it's called or organic raw shea butter moisture retention shampoo okay and it contains shea butter and argan oil and sea kelp, apparently. But I love, love, love this shampoo. I've never had a shampoo where it felt like even when my natural hair is out, I don't have to section it off when I'm washing my hair like most of us naturals do. I can just wash my hair open like how my hairdresser would wash my hair because it has like amazing slip like a conditioner almost. So that's my favorite moisture shampoo, okay? And I use this every week every every week and then once a month I will use this shampoo by Neutrogena it's their anti-residue formula shampoo and this is a clarifying shampoo so I, I will use this once a month to really rid of all the product buildup and um, and the dirt in your hair yeah, this stuff is really really good and especially if we are wearing an extensions you want to clarify and cleanse your hair um, as much as possible and anytime you see something that says it's like a clarifying or a cleansing or a detoxifying shampoo you want to follow up with a moisturizing shampoo so I get to use my favorite shampoo every week and and when you clarify you know how if you use your products too often they stop working if you clarify it will work just like it was the first time you ever used it so that's why I love using these hand in hand these are my two shampoos when it comes to wash day but this is only once a month Okay, so then after washing, it's time for conditioning, and I deep condition. And I deep condition every week with, um, for right now, it's Neutrogena's Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask. It's really, really amazing. And I just get in there. You know how your mom would grease your scalp <laughs> back in the day when you were little, and she would part your hair and just, you know, apply it across like that? That's what I do, and really just 
you know push it down and work it into my natural hair and my braids by separating out each track so get get a good deep conditioner I'll put a shower cap over my head and lounge around and if I if I'm trying to cut down on time I will sit under my hooded dryer for about 15 minutes to get my deep condition in so that's that so after deep conditioning and rinsing it out I need a leave-in and so for me my leave-ins of choice are um, a keratin mist by she and then a leave-in treatment by Avino okay so these are really really good I use the chi first on my leave out and then seal it with this leave-in conditioner and then for my natural hair I just spray this um, track by track <laughs> <laughs> this leave-in okay so my leave-out gets both of these products and then for the rest of my from my braids it just gets the leave-in because it gets kind of tiring to try and do all that separating all the time so yeah and then for my actual extensions I deep condition this also with hello hydration rinse that out and then apply a leave-in by Ozzy which is their hair insurance to my extensions okay so I do care for my extensions very well but I take sh I make sure I take care of my natural hair even better so so that's the pre poo the shampoo the deep condition the leave-in condition once I have my leave-in conditioners applied I then um, gather my extensions into two bonds on both sides of my head and that's to make sure that most of my hair is open because I then sit under a hooded dryer because it's very essential for extension wearers to make sure that they get your natural hair dry once you've gotten it wet okay to avoid mildew and um, bacteria because that that will happen so make sure you get your uh, hair dry underneath so that I do make sure that I apply a heat protectant also this area is very very open so it can get most of the air from my hooded dryer then I spritz uh, heat protectant. This is Ozzy. I love Ozzy products. This is their heat protecting spray, heat protecting and shine spray. I hope you guys can see that by Ozzy. Okay, and then I just spritz that all over the hair so it can be protected as well when it is being dried. So that's the drying process, and then I will style as needed. So it's really just as simple as it is taking care of your natural hair it's just making sure that you do it and making sure that you find the right techniques that are going to be helpful for you to get down to your natural hair so I hope these tips were helpful for you guys this is just what I do it's important to clarify and moisturize and deep condition just like you would if your hair was out so don't neglect to do those things when you do have your hair up in a protective style um, I really do hope this was helpful let me know if it was let me know if you have any questions about hair care when it comes to wearing your hair and so on and extensions and I will try to answer them as best as I can I actually will be taking these extensions down in two weeks and then I can do a like length check for you guys as promised so um, stay tuned for that and that is it for all my subscribers and if you're a first time viewer thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video okay? bye